back again. I know I've been away for a while, but that's what happens when you have seasonal depression. <laughs> but I'm back and it's good to be back. I am heading to Washington DC with one of my best friends and her mom. And I'm excited because the last time I went to Washington DC was for educational purposes. And let's be honest, when you go somewhere for educational purposes, it doesn't hit the same. I'm gonna try some new shops, maybe try a coffee shop, maybe try some new food, look around and actually remind myself that it doesn't have to be educational to enjoy this place. I would also like to give a shout out to my hair. I had a whole hair journey that maybe I'll explain sometime. This is the first time I've actually been able to do my hair nicely in a really long time. If you go through my series when I traveled New England, you can clearly tell that my hair was not doing well. It was dying and then literally a few weeks after that trip, I dyed it again and my hair pretty much fell out. And since then, I basically like took a break, changed all my products, started doing some treatments, and this is the best it's been in months. And I am totally feeling it. Yes, queen, work. Are you kidding me right now? She came up to the window and scared me. Mimi! You got to dance baby. We found a parking garage and it's for a shopping mall, which we're not used to. You have to use a, sh a garage to go shopping, but now we're hungry and we're going for food. That restaurant was so good, it was delicious. And now we're trying the Metro. I've never tried yeah. this before. So, um, yeah, I haven't been on the Metro in a while, but I, I kinda, they let me leave the charge again, first of all. There's I a Metro in New ridiculous. York, right? Yeah. Okay, so that's probably the last time, and I don't even know when the last time I was in New York, so okay. let's see how this goes. Jenny was our saving grace and helped us figure out the Metro, and now we're on our way. of us are directionally challenged <laughs> and we went on the wrong metro and now we're on the opposite now we're on the opposite side update we were thinking oh we need to go on the yellow line however there is no yellow line service <laughs> until may until may it is april we need to figure out another way to get to the destination we want to go to <laughs> it's a good thing we're here for new days <laughs> It's a miracle, we made it. We Whoa, made it, I'm finally. Yeah, dude, where is my umbrella? <laughs> We are officially getting rained on. Glasses in the rain. I'm screwed. so good. I chose to wear contacts today. I usually don't wear them. Well, at least we're getting a free shower. And we're cooling Dr. off, so. Too bad I didn't bring my doctor. Ryan. Trying to see the plus side to it. <laughs> we are living our best lives. Also, can we talk about spring rain? Smells the best out of all the seasons. Try to tell me I'm wrong.
My hair is so destroyd. It's a good thing I brought a scrunchie for later because this is not gonna survive. <laughs> a few moments later. What did we go see again? The changing of the guard. At the, the changing of the guard. We went up and I couldn't get a good view of it. We're pretty much drenched, <laughs> soaked. And I even brought a raincoat and I left it in the car. <laughs> I'm laughing because <laughs> it's just water. <laughs> I would have made such a big deal about this. I would have been like, oh my gosh, this is gross. But now I'm just embracing it. <laughs> Who cares? A few minutes later. Nature is finally lifting up. <laughs> we had it fine. And I just realized I didn't bring any other extra clothes other than for tomorrow. You live and learn. <laughs> I got some stuff in my target. <laughs> Might as well get some new clothes. <laughs> Yes, it was a little bit embarrassing, but you know what? I let it slide because something that I've been reminding myself through my travels and going to places and filming with myself or doing things or even getting caught in the rain is you're never gonna see any of these people ever again. So it's not gonna matter. And that's just something to remind yourself if you ever go out and you wanna film content or you get caught in the rain or whatever it is. No one else is really thinking about you. telling me so kind of random but i was just like having to tighten up my arm and realize that i still have some muscle because i try to swim at least once or twice a week do you know what type of muscles i have what type of muscles do you also have <laughs> chewing muscles hey what i'm hearing is you have muscles good job <laughs> from all the food i eat <laughs> there's two different type of people one who actually does the work and me who's just like i could hey, but she has muscle We made it to a national monument. Go us. <laughs> and I'm getting a little drier, so that's nice. The sun is in my eye, but it's beautiful. <laughs> uh, this is what happens when you have sensitive eyeballs. This is the most exercise I have ever done, probably since New England. But there, there are little hills and you think you wouldn't get impacted, but you do. So just make sure to bring some good shoes if you're coming to Washington. The frizziness is so real, <laughs> but it still looks pretty good. Freaking adorable. Look how cute this is. After much traveling, we have made it because I forgot to bring pajamas. So we had to go buy some. This is when you know a Target is big, when they need elevators like this. This is probably the most confusing Target I've ever been in. It is so big. It has two stories. It is that big. I got lost. <laughs> I hope I'm not the only one, but I love coming to the guy section and picking out an oversized tee that's clearly way too big for me, but then wear it to bed so then I can be comfy and I don't feel so tight. You guys will never believe what I found. What's funny is I was even thinking about buying this t-shirt the other day, but I decided not to, but I guess I am now. <laughs> Much, much, much later. We just tried to eat near the Capitol. It was a fail. There was a baseball game. <laughs> we literally just drove around for like 20 or 30 minutes. We just gave up and walked to McDonald's. <laughs> I am signing out. I am tired. I will see you guys tomorrow and we'll explore more. It is the next morning. We all kind of got sort of goodish sleep. <laughs> we got our coffee and now we're going to explore some museums, which will be fun.
We've only been here for less than two days and we've already had so many issues with cars and traffic. Once again, we couldn't go down a specific road because there was a festival happening. So we had to go around it. And then yesterday, we couldn't find any parking because of a baseball game. I guess this is normal in DC. I don't like the city. Yeah, neither of us are city people. We just like to visit and that's it. All I keep thinking about is the Smith, the movies with Ben Stiller. What are they called again? Night of the Museum. I keep thinking about that the whole time we're here. Yes, <laughs> so good. I'm unsure if I said this before, but I'm really into aquatic life. I've always really been into it. One of my favorite animals is a sea turtle. So whenever I go to any sort of museum, I try to explore the ocean life area because I just find it so interesting. If I wasn't so creative, I might have gone for marine biology. I got confused with this museum, with the Night of Museum that was in New York. For some reason I thought it was the same, but it's not. But in the second movie is where the, uh, Ben Stiller goes to National Air and Space and some other places. I got confused. Whoops. My friend loves dinosaurs and I knew as soon as I went somewhere that had dinosaurs, I would find her. Hi Jenny! I had an idea that you would be in here. <laughs> The museum was huge, but now we're going on to our other one that's probably going to make us cry. Yeah, pretty much. It's very sunny out, but we're currently at the National Monument and we keep forgetting how big it actually is in person because when you look further away, it, you know, you can't tell, but when you're up close, you're like, dang. Wow. Going through the whole museum took over two hours. I will warn you, I didn't show you everything because some of it was just hard. It was sombering, it was heartbreaking. So if you do wanna go, just be prepared. It can get really busy. We got there early and we were able to get tickets to see the whole display. But if you don't get there early, then you will most likely not get a ticket. So just make sure to go there on the earlier side. It will change your perspective, but it was educational. And if you're something interested about this time period, I do recommend, but it will break your heart. Now, in full honesty, we are all dying. <laughs> we are exhausted. We had no idea there was so much to do in Washington. There was so much walking and we're just, <laughs> we're checked out. None of us really got that great sleep either. So we're just, <laughs> we're grabbing something and we're heading out. I am officially home and completely exhausted. I am taking a shower, 
eating a quick dinner and then heading right to bed. Thank you so much for joining me in my chaotic journey through DC. Don't forget to subscribe, check out my other shop and my website and all my other videos that I have traveling and I hope to see you on the tube, friend.